Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are ready for a life update because I am ready to yap. I'm ready to yap like I have never yapped before. I... <sighs> Where do we start? I'm so happy to be home. For those of you that don't know, if you're not fully up to date on what has been going on in life, I just got married. I just got married twice. I then also went straight to Scotland for a friend's wedding. It was actually Ryan's groomsman's. By the way, I need to just address before I cake myself in makeup. My skin is terrible right now. Like if you see poorly lit shots of my skin and you think, wow, she doesn't normally look like that. I have lost my skin and me tube and it's really expensive to get another one sent out straight away like you have to pay for a whole another one if you lose one and you don't want to wait until the next month and I've done that once before already this year and I'm just refusing to go through that again so <laughs> I am going in hard with the clay de po concealer which I used the other day for the first time in so long it must be like a year over a year actually I used it when I was at Amelia's because I just needed to top up my concealer and I was like damn I forgot how good this concealer is like it is sensational the coverage is just insane and it's just skin like but so smoothing at the same time and this one's really nice i've got the shade three beige which is a little bit lighter than i would normally go but after the ordeal i've had over the last couple of weeks i'm not looking super bright in my skin so it's actually kind of nice to have that i've been very very oh by the way i'll get to that in a second but yeah anyway my skin has plot the lost because i have lost my skin in me so if you're wondering why it just looks so weird compared to normal that is why but anyway Anyway, so got married twice, loved it. However, also love having done that and now just being on the flip side, it's very nice. I am thoroughly enjoying being home. Like I am ecstatic to be home, left to my own devices. Ryan's actually in Egypt playing a couple of shows. I think it's at the Rixos Hotel, which is very fun. And normally I would quite frankly pee my pants to be there. But after the two weddings, I was just like, you know what? Babes, I just need to be home. So I'm gonna duck out of this one. I also really wanna do a trip to New York before the year is out so i would quite like to save my money for those flights so yeah priorities oh my god this foundation makes such a difference charlotte tilbury beautiful skin i am the best version of myself when i use this foundation i'm just going to actually put a second layer on just because i have not really properly worn makeup in weeks and i am feeling a bit like a potato i wore makeup for one day the day after we came back from scotland i put makeup on and we literally landed. I think it was the Monday night and the Tuesday morning. I put some makeup on and I rolled up to London because Victoria had a Clay de Po event. I don't know if I have any footage from that. I have photos and maybe like one video. I will insert if I still have it. I also have loads of Scotland actually as well. So I will just insert some overlays whilst I chat. But yeah, Scotland stunning. It did rain a lot. So there wasn't actually that much to vlog, but it was really, really beautiful. It was giving hoa 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 weather, which if you're on TikTok or you've ever watched Twilight, you'll know exactly what I mean. Beautiful wedding, beautiful company, just beautiful. Much like this foundation. Oh my god, I feel like a new woman. So the last time I properly wore a full face of makeup was the Tuesday when I went to London and I saw Victoria and Amelia and went to the Clay de Poe like festive lunch that Victoria was hosting which was stunning. I just love Clay de Poe. Gorgeous brand. Obsessed with the serum which has apparently been reformulated. I'm excited to try the new one and obsessed with the cream. The cream has really held me together this year. Like lots of you will know I banged on about it but I didn't have my Botox topped up for a long time and I swear I swear that cream is the only thing that kept me going it's so good it's just so rich and hydrating and for the price because it is very spinny it does actually it, it is actually a sensational base moisturizer so it's lovely to go and see them see the Christmas launches because they are stunning Ning. so pretty i thought last year's was super pretty i think King Camera showed you last year's it's this beautiful blue like iridescent very my vibe bottle and this year they did it and i thought they couldn't make it better but they made it pink they made it pink it's like a pinky lilac-y unicorn packaging the normal gold packaging is stunning but they somehow made it better lovely lovely day i actually had an odd muse dinner in the evening as well which was super nice me and amelia basically spent the entire day together pretty sure she was done with me by the end of the day i'm just kidding she loves me you know when you're like catching up with people and they like obviously i've had the wedding so i felt like i answered the same questions over and over again and i just felt really sorry for amelia because i was like you literally went to the wedding and now you're having to hear about it over and over and over again and i just yeah 
bless her bless her soul oh my god i'm so excited to do my eyeshadow today this eyeshadow combo i discovered in scotland i've actually had these in my makeup bag for so long but just not really been using them these are nars eyeshadow sticks and i originally thought this color was like a no-no like even when i put it on it looks like it shouldn't work this is called adults only and this is called strip down which is two shade names that i feel like will not be allowed to go in my youtube info box they're stunning like adults only is this beautiful like peachy nudie color i don't think this lighting is going to do it justice i thought today would be a great day to vlog because the weather said it was going to be sunny i'm not sure where that sun is at but it's not here i'll show you this properly in like slightly different lighting when i'm done but this is just the nicest eyeshadow combo so i run the dark color along my lash line and then up through my which feels very old school and i also do a little bit on the outer corner of my eye as well i go over this with powder i have to disclose but the base colors are just so nice and warm it's just really pretty so i take my regular kind of flat eyeshadow brush please ignore the state of my brushes i use that to blend along the lash line and then i use a different brush for the rest of the blending i have a question for all of you actually it's one that i've actually been asking a lot of my friends i need to ask Vic because i saw her mention it in her last vlog where she was like i haven't washed my brushes in a while i'm really bad at it i want to know how bad is really bad because i also consider myself to be really bad and i said it to amelia the other day in my opinion she's very good so i would like to ask all of you be honest how often do you wash your brushes if you could hopefully make me feel less alone in this life that would be wonderful anyway i am the queen of tangents today but it's because i have so many updates i've missed having like five minutes to just chat it's so nice oh my god also not being interrupted by wedding emails 24 7 is also stunning yeah i'm really enjoying being home being left to my own devices getting back into my routines which i just love like nothing makes me happier but i also am having like some really gorgeous introverted alone time nothing could heal me faster than this because really i haven't i'm an introvert i know i don't seem it because your girl can yap but it's in confined alone spaces with actually just a camera not another human yeah i'm an introvert and when you think about it i actually have spent the last month constantly surrounded by people because of the wedding i am well overdue this gorgeous gorgeous alone time i've actually been alone now for two days <laughs> solid and i'm only just picking up the camera which just shows how much i just really needed it i'm now adding my bronzer to the underneath of my eye i'm loving bronzer all around the eye again i've really been loving this the last couple of months and as per usual i run the brown in this along my upper lash line and then i go in with the darker brown as well in the outer corner anyway sorry this is like a mixture of like makeup updates and life updates because i'm just very excited about everything all at once <laughs> Is recharged people I finally feel like me again after the longest time so that's kind of what I've been up to weddings 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 London and then I got sick I was actually already like a little bit under the weather coming back from Scotland and I thought I was like past the worst of it and fine on Tuesday and then Tuesday night when I was on the train home I just very very quickly got worse and worse it was almost like my body had like registered that we were done with every single obligation possible and that I could then crash. So I did in fact crash. I normally bounce back really well from being like poorly like i had covid back in covid times and i was right as rain like testing negative again after like four days or something. This cold has fully knocked me yeah i've basically have only just been able to do a 5k walk without crawling as of this morning which is just wild so yeah i was just basically super poorly the last week which has been very boring and uncomfortable but do you know what i did do unpack my suitcases no spring clean my whole house no buy loads of cute autumn stuff guilty a little bit of unreal skin on the high points of my face blendy blend now bronzer <laughs> this is what i've been working with since scotland scotland was a disaster basically for my beauty items not only did i lose the skin of me i broke my favorite lancome bronzer however i in my sickness on the sofa did a look fantastic order just a mini one a mini one just with some top-ups that i needed so we have got my lancome bronzer in shade four this is the best if you liked mac give me sun which i don't know if they still do and it's actually not as good as this but if you like that kind of vibe you're going to love this bronzer not only is the packaging absolutely sensational it's the best bronzer ever like the warmest most gorgy bronzer i'm so happy to have one that isn't completely shattered that was getting a bit too much for me if i'm honest i might still try and use it or like put it back together but once they break like it's just not 
it's not ideal oh it's so nice not having it shattered like it was going on way too heavy oh this is so much better i'm just going in with a light amount of this because i actually haven't faked hand in weeks and weeks now stunning yes oh my god so happy to be reunited with a non-broken one i will use the broken bits for my neck because that's such a big bit of skin yeah feeling great so i picked that up in my look fantastic order and then i also got a i've used up a liquid eyeshadow guys can you believe it i picked up a new armani eye tint in the shade 22 this is the best shade because this one i actually don't know if you'll be able to see but it is empty like i've been scraping around the sides it's so dry <laughs> so never did i ever think that i would use up an entire liquid eyeshadow but i have oh wow yeah that's that looks completely different to what i've been working with for the last year so i was definitely due an update on that yeah so much makeup that i've been loving lately also you guys literally lost your minds for this makeup bag i think it's still in stock and i would move fast on this it is the best makeup bag let me show you if you haven't seen this because i showed you i think in one of the wedding vlogs but this makeup bag is a charlotte tilbury harrods limited edition makeup bag and it's like a square so really nice and easy for like packing away the dark green velvet is beautiful beautiful but when you open it <laughs> it's amazing they do this in i think it's almost like a canvasy material but it has the charlotte tilbury like lip logo on it i i don't love it as much this is I'm obsessed with it so I'm, I'm obsessed with so much in my makeup bag right now I'm just I think I'm very happy to be out of my bridal era and just like doing fun things again like brown nails just yeah I feel like I have so much new makeup I'm just loving it all and feel really excited about life again which is just being a bride was not for me guys <laughs> I really feel like the pressure was just making me crack at every point and I, I really struggled and i know that's really lame but i really did anyway on the agenda for today is actually unpacking one of the final suitcases from the wedding i can't tell you over the course of the month how many suitcases we packed repacked unpacked it was chaos like between coming home from ibiza we had for the scotland wedding we had 24 hours i think it was actually less than that to turn everything around and get packed and go to scotland as you can imagine we didn't get everything unpacked washed organized that did not happen so when we came back we were faced with all of that then i was poorly and so not a lot has been done on my part and i was obviously the person with the most suitcases that has the most unpacking to do so that's not ideal but i made a start the other night i also got all of my wedding dresses like unpacked repacked just like properly stored because they were obviously like in suitcases and not like i've got them all organized and everything now ready for dry cleaning so that's good and yeah i'm on one of my final suitcases the piles of clothing are minimal which is amazing but yeah we need to sort that out today because i need to part of the issue was that we obviously took loads of summer stuff away but then for scotland we needed more autumn stuff so what was used isn't just like summer stuff and then it's easy to like get back into like autumn dressing when you're back because all of your autumn stuff is still right where you left it like my autumn stuff was packed in two suitcases so it's just i need my knitwear i need my knitwear back out and organized and yeah and i want to get that done today because my mum and dad are actually coming over for dinner tonight so i want to be dressed <laughs> and look like i have my shiz together and i don't just want to be, be wearing like a random outfit because i have half my clothes still in my suitcase like all my favorite like jeans and stuff like that i think i need some lip product but they are downstairs in my my new bag oh my god i need to show you my new bag it's phenomenal if i do say so myself let me show you the makeup in better light literally like i wish i could have a standing makeup desk it would just be so much nicer for my self-esteem in the vlogs but um yeah that's my current makeup i just need to use setting spray and then do my lips properly but i love the eye makeup it's just really pretty and like warm and autumnal and all the tones just like work together really nicely so i'll try and link everything i used in the info box let's go get unpacking <laughs> Where are the lip products? Fave Lip Cream from Patrick Tarr and then the Armani Gloss of Dreams. This KKW lip liner, which sadly no longer exists. This is the new bag, by the way, in question. It's amazing. It's like a dupe of the Row bag, which I love, but I can't justify the price because if I was going to spend that much money, I'd rather put it towards an MS bag. Look at how pretty she is. And I've obviously got a jelly cat croissant on it. The only thing that I feel like does let this down is the lining on the inside. I wish it wasn't a light color. It would look so so 
so good if it was like a darker colour. I'll leave a link for it in the info box. This is my other favourite rag at the moment. Yeah, I'll link both of those. Oh my god, I've missed having makeup on so much. Yes, probably the best lip combo I think I've ever worn in my life. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, this is the packing situ. Honestly, if you think this is bad, you should have seen it a couple of days ago. I have to say, this is definitely not the sexiest part of getting married at all. Like, definitely the most boring bit about the whole thing. But I am excited to just get everything out and get it all away and then also have a big wardrobe cleanse like i am really excited to get all the summer stuff just packed away have all my autumn things out oh it's just gonna be so nice like it's all looking a bit disheveled along here i want to have all my autumnal shoes like it will just be so nice i want a proper fresh start for the autumn what i like to do is kind of get the things and put them like near where they're meant to be so all of my knitwear goes in front of like the knitwear basically then i only have to open the drawers up once and then put everything in and then i'm not like one item open this drawer put that in close this drawer like get everything in the piles where it's meant to be as if i took my resistance bands away with me thinking i would actually use those oh my colors we can be reunited with curls again i'm so excited beauty bit Oh, setting spray. Oh my god, I needed you. This is where you've been. I've been using a mini for like a week. Oh, I feel so puffy today and that felt so refreshing. Oh, and my face bleach. Great. Can do my mustache. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I had absolutely no system for this trip. This is the Scotland trip. And you know when you're just looking at things like, I don't know what is clean and what is not. Having to really use my memory that I didn't wear. Also goes up okay i think that is enough todaying for today my bag collection is still very much upsetting me because it's all so disorganized right now but i did try and rearrange my shoes a little bit to make it a bit more autumn because it was just hurting my eyeballs yeah i can't wait to go through all of this because right now we've got a mix of summer and autumn and winter going on and I, I don't like it i like to just have the relevant seasons that i need but that is a job for another day because my to-do list is screaming at me okay admin is done the house is moderately tidy my mom and dad are incoming at any moment but my court beauty order just arrived i am not normally one for buying like autumnal makeup but in my boredom lying in bed i was in the mood I got some new Summer Fridays lip butters. Is that what they're called? Lip butter balms. Oh. So this is hot cocoa and this one is brown sugar. So kind of similar, but one's got more of a like movie tone to it. I'm really excited about this. Do these smell nice? The other ones smell nice, so. Oh, this smells like I want to eat it, but safety first, I won't. Wow. I feel like that goes really nicely with the knit yeah picked up two of those to be honest this one probably would have gone better with the blush that i have on but the taste of this is stunning will not taste like the flavor flavor scent oh that smells so good actually does smell like brown sugar and it's much more of a like purpley tone which is really nice so i picked up two of those and then i also picked up two patrick tar you know like the powder blush things and he puts them on like the other way around so it's like part is cream part is powder he'll apply the powder and then apply the cream over the top which is obviously like very backwards to what we've all been told we should be doing what oh that's so pretty so it's kind of like a almost like a ready bronzy blush tone so that's the shade she's so la and then i also got more of a like neutral everyday non-autumnal color which is not too much literally does what it says on the tin basically why can't i get these open am i okay no seriously how am i doing this so this one is much more of an everyday pinky tone which looks really really pretty i didn't want anything too cool tone so this is like the nicest most neutrally warm pink i'm gonna be trying those out tomorrow because i have literally i didn't even think i just put blush on though i do really want to try this one just because it looks so stunning and i get away with adding more blush probably not okay we'll try these tomorrow that is my little autumnal beauty haul just in case anyone was wondering this knit is from cos i will link it if it's still available i'm not really dressing up 
for dinner tonight and literally just wearing a nice knitted jumper this was basically the whole reason i was like i need to unpack my stuff because i just wanted to wear this just wanted to be cozy and then i've got my earrings from my aurelia edit i love these these are literally like these and the gold hearts i wear on rotation literally every day and fragrance of the evening is joe malone myrrh and tonka i am very much in love with this at the moment this and the tom ford vanilla fragrance are just back to back in my rotation i love it mm. Good morning everybody. We've actually skipped a day. I decided I wanted to focus on getting the wedding Q&A done yesterday. So that is all done, which I'm very, very happy with. We're now nice and ahead on videos, which is lovely. I'm just trying the new Patrick Tarr blush. I really like this. What shade is this? She's so LA. This is really pretty. Like a really nice bronzy, more natural kind of blush for me. I spent a lot of time using cool toned pinks over the summer and they're really pretty but I just don't think they work on me as well as these lovely like brown or mauvey shades. I've gone quite overboard I can't lie and I liked the look of this one because it kind of looks a bit like bronzer. You guys know I like a warm bronzer so it's basically a warm bronzer with a hint more pink and like blushiness to it. I'm intrigued by the cream and they say you're basically meant to put the cream over the powder which seems so wrong but here we go oh I, I do like the fact it gives like a nice glow when you're using the cream over the that's that's really pretty i get the height i've used a bit much on my nose but oh well that's so pretty gorgeous okay i am wearing way too much makeup for a friday morning however i am going out this evening so yeah that's basically why i actually decided to do most of my makeup and why it's so heavy considering i'm going to the dentist but yeah we're going out later so i just didn't want to be rushed and getting like fully ready from scratch especially when i'm not going to be home basically i'm going to get home and then i'm going to need to be getting ready immediately and then we're going to need to leave for london we have a little night out in london tonight which will be really nice but before then we are going into brighton we need to just run a couple of errands but most importantly i have an orthodontic appointment because your idiot girl here she put her retainers in her skincare bag when I went to Ibiza and I didn't put them in the case the dumbest thing about this is I did this I do this all the time I risk it all the time but I did this last September when we went to Ibiza and we got engaged and a bit chipped off the top of my retainer it still works it's fine it's just like got a little bit missing from a bit that's not really necessary so it's fine however this time the bottom shattered into like five different pieces i apparently will never learn so we have an appointment today i need to go and have like a little scan of my mouth to check that my teeth are still in the same position and then we need to reorder a new retainer which is going to be expensive and a very unnecessary dumb expense but anyway we need to get ready. I actually have some new things that I wanted to show you, which I'm kind of gonna use to make my outfit for the day. I got these jeans from Cezanne. I have these in the light blue and I really like them. The fit of them is amazing. So I decided to order them in the black. They're such a great length. They fit really beautifully. I like them a lot. And then I also got these boots, which if you have followed me for a while, you'll know I wear a black version of these from All Saints literally every year. I love them. They are so long wearing. Like I literally, it's that pair there. I've had them in my wardrobe forever. They're amazing. I really wanted to explore a different colorway and a different material just to switch things up, especially because I have so much brown in my wardrobe this autumn winter. So I thought to go with these jeans. These boots would be stunning and they work really, really nicely especially when paired with this cardigan so i want to wear these today and i think i might pair them with a different top and jacket i also have another pair of boots which have just arrived i don't know if i'll wear these today though because i need to be driving and i think these have a bit of a heel again i wear the same pair of like heeled boots every autumn winter i love them and again wanted to experiment with a different colorway these are from reformation not the cheapest boots in the world but honestly after the experience i just had with my mango boots i need to show you actually where are they so these are my favorite boots from mango i wear them every year I've had them for quite a few years now. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this this bit here. The heel is broken. I don't know if I'll be able to get them fixed because I guess you'd have to like cut the suede to glue them back together. I might take them to someone and see if something can be done because I do love them and we love a repair and rewear. However, they might just be toast. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I saw these boots and I just love them and they were very, very me. 
I feel like they basically match my brown suede bag that I got from Reformation as well. So when I'm wearing brown trousers, I really hate wearing a black boot with them and I quite often have like trousers that I need some kind of a heel with like sometimes they're a bit too long for trainers so I need like a little heel and these just looked perfect especially for wearing with like say things that are white things that are brown things that are just not black and just don't work with black I really wanted a boot that had a little bit more of a soft tone to it and I just love I love this brown tone it's honestly one of my favorite colors to have in my wardrobe i've had things in this color in my wardrobe for years so i know i just go back to them over and over and they mix really nicely with the other neutrals that i gravitate towards in the winter as well so i just felt like they were perfect i also have a new jacket this is basically like a little of what's new in my wardrobe segment but things that i haven't shown you that i really really want to share with you this i may wear today i have some other jacket options but this has been a go two for me i'm obsessed with it this is not this is not cheap however i think if you have this budget to spend on a coat it is worth it because it is beautiful and i just couldn't find anything else like this and the quality is insane this brand for coats just the best so I might wear that today but i also have a couple of other coats that i ordered some of you may have seen these because one of them went viral and it's basically impossible to get hold of though i feel like it may be back in stock it's in stock today will it be in stock by sunday who knows but i just wanted to order them and see oh, oh my god it's beautiful no i wish i hadn't ordered two because i don't know how i'm gonna choose oh my god this is so nice wow you know when you just immediately need to put something on now this i thought would be amazing not only for just like general wear but this is the kind of thing that when i was in scotland in my lovely brown christopher esper dress freezing to death i really would have loved like a coat like this because i think it works really well with like a dressier outfit this is so nice wow i'll show you everything like in the mirror because I, I don't feel like standing here is really able to show it off but it's so cozy I sized up in these. This was a situation where it was so sold out that you were just taking whatever size you could get. So this is a 14. But a lot of the girlies I've seen on Instagram were getting like 18s. So just go and try it on and see what see what works. It depends on if you like an oversized fit or not. But then I also picked up this. This now I'm opening it may not be may not be the one. I actually don't love the. I've seen much nicer versions of this. However, it's at a very good price point compared to the other ones I've seen, so I wanted to try it. Oh, I don't know if it's giving Big Bird. But the thing is, these things always get, give Big Bird, and then I get self-conscious, and people tell me that I'm giving Big Bird, and then I get rid of them, and then everyone is wearing them, so no, it's giving Big Bird. It's just a bit too puffy for me. Like, I have to have fuzzy things that are just not too thick, because it just doesn't work on me. Okay, so we have a winner. Oh my god, yeah so cute i love it yeah this is a bit of me so these are the brown boots i think they work really nicely i don't know if you'll be able to really see the color in here because the room is so white it's just making everything dark look nearly black but yeah i think these are really nice especially as i've got like a brown body on brown boots i think that works really nicely and then the brown jacket of course as well and these are the jeans they fit really really well I love the length of them. I think it's a great length for wearing a boot, especially when I try on the flat boots. You'll see it gives just enough of the boot to make it not look too chunky, which I really like. And for my height, I think is quite important. Yes, they just fit really well. I'm very happy with them. And these are the tan Chelsea boots. I love these. They're just a great addition to my wardrobe. They work really well with everything. All of the brown tones that I love to wear. Like I said, I love that the jeans cut off, like leaving just enough for you to get the kind of brown stretchy bit of the Chelsea boot. I just think they work really nicely. So the brown body jeans and boots are going to be the base of my outfit today. I think I might wear the trench coat today. I do really like the faux fur with the jeans and the boot more than a pair of like heeled boots. I think these jackets are quite dressy and when you're wearing them like day to day it's nice to wear them with something really 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 casual. So kind of balance it out yeah i think i'm gonna go for my trench coat let me show you that on i cannot wait to show you this this does have shoulder padding in it but it is removable so definitely worth keeping in mind if you try it on for the first time and you're like this is too much for me you can take the shoulder pads out yeah i just love it i love how long it is the material just feels incredible and the way it drapes is just lovely as well it comes with a belt so you can belt it and like i said i just love the length i think it's really nice that you can just about see my shoes and then not a lot else so it's nice for a day when you're wearing like a simple outfit that you just kind of want to throw something quite statement over the top of and yeah i just love it the only thing is i can't wear this and my brown bag at the same time because it just feels a bit too much so I think I might take this black one today. Mm. Oh, one of 
these up here. I haven't really visited the shelves in a while. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. I think it's so stunning. This is it tied at the waist, which I love. I love that little cinch. I think it's really cute. I also think this is going to be amazing if you're wearing like a skinny jean and then a really gorgeous pointed boot for your shoes. I think that's going to be amazing. But equally, I think this would look amazing with a pair of Sambas and your jeans. So yeah, it's just one of those. I think it's going to be a real go-to for me this year until it gets a bit too cold and then it's just going to be me in the Max Mara pink teddy coat forever. Yeah, I love this. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with it. And here we have my outfit of the day. So I've gone for my Chanel 22 bag. I really love the texture of this. It's an added dimension to the outfit with like the tweed and I also love grey and brown. I just actually think they work so well together. I've taken the shoulder pads out of the coat because it has the little loops on the shoulders anyway, which I feel like exaggerate my shoulders enough and I have quite a wide shoulder anyway so I actually didn't feel like it needed it today especially because I'm going for a more casual vibe so if I was on a night out the shoulder pads would be cool but I just don't feel like they're necessary today so we've said goodbye to those jeans boots skims tank top just got an R necklace on from Monica Vinida Monica Vinida hoops as well and then my sunglasses are from glasses direct I believe these are like frames that you could have as like reading glasses if you wanted to but you can also put lenses in for actual sunglasses and I'm obsessed with them I love this style and these are really nice because they're not too exaggerated I would actually love these as reading glasses I might have to order some of those because actually these would be a sleigh as reading glasses as well I think this shape suits my face quite nicely they also do these in black which I would quite like as a winter sunglasses option as well these are definitely like my favorite from them that I have I have quite a few pairs that is my OOTD super like cozy autumn vibes I love it oh and perfume of the day is actually one of the new Glossier fragrances I just got sent both I really love both I'm giving this one away today I'm trying to figure out if I love one more than the other but this one's very like soft it's almost like Glossier you mixed with a bit of like coconutty white florally fragrance which is really nice in the other one which is here is more of a like berry-ish the lid's not on that's gonna annoy me it's more of a like berry-ish version of Glossier you but they all kind of sit in the same family there's definitely something at the base tying them all together they all just smell like nice skin smells if that makes sense have you ever smelt the top of a baby's head because that's what i it's that same like niceness that I feel when I smell Glossier U and both of the new ones as well. So the pink one's a lot warmer and more deep and like rich and the cream one is more like light and fresh. Can I get a chocolate flex please? Hello? Yeah that's it, thank you. Take away please. It's easy. This is a public service announcement. I have just been reminded that we need to wrap this vlog. I actually can't take you to London with me this evening like I planned, by the way. Dare I say I am obsessed. I know people get annoyed because I'm obsessed with everything, but truly very obsessed. We need to get this vlog wrapped, ready for Sunday. So I'm gonna leave you here. Thank you so much for spending the last couple of days with me. I hope you've all enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys again next week. Bye, bye, bye.